Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Jasmine Yap TV. Think and grow rich 5 minutes a week. Today we are going to talk about you need to be an investor, your job is not enough for your financial wealth. How many of you think that life is pretty tough nowadays? With the rise of electricity price, petrol price, cost of living, prices high but salary remains. What is your action plan? In this tough economy, many people just know how to complain and didn't do much about it. Let me share with you a story. Hey Jasmine, I know that you are talking about building financial wealth. I understand the logic behind it. The problem with that is I'm not motivated by money. I'm just happy with what I have now and I don't need or want anything else. Life is just great. I appreciate her honesty. I asked her a question. Do you have insurance? Insurance for car, house owner, medical insurance? She said yes. Insurance is very important to take care of the unexpected. I asked her again, how can you be sure that the insurance that you bought for the unexpected won't happen in the area in your life that insurance for won't example, cover? Your sudden loss of job or worse, your loss of ability to earn The idea income. is, what if an unforeseen opportunity arises that requires more money than you currently have now? As we talk, I realized that actually she afraid that the money will own her. In her mind, she thinks that money is evil. How many of you can relate to that? How many of you ever think that money is negative? However, in my personal experience, I think that money won't change you at all. What it will do is to amplify who you already are. I believe that people are exposed to new opportunities and be empowered by it. Instead of being changed by money, it will just allow them to be more of who they really are. Financial wealth is about having enough unearned income or the passive income to finance your life mission without the need to work. Chances are your current job or the savings plan will not be nearly enough to build your financial wealth. Working on a job is like trading my time for money and this my most limited resources is just get lesser and lesser. I think that money is just a temporary medium to afford our lifestyle and growth. As such, to maintain our lifestyle, we need money that can flow in even when we are not working. How can that happen? Invest a portion of the salary and only live on a portion. Only a tiny percentage of people makes enough income from their jobs to become financially wealthy. I'm talking about those high paid athletes, actors, musicians and executives. The extraordinary compensation is so large that they can easily live on a fraction of their income, invest the rest, even with the modest rate of return, still able to achieve financial freedom. Here's the problem. Freedom. They cling to a far-fetched assumption that their job will continue to provide an extraordinary stream of income. In fact, the more money people make, the more overconfident they tend to be about their financial future. Prosperity can provide a false sense of security. They will overspend and underinvest to a point that one day wake up, realize that they are already at the down slope of their primary income earning years and their lifestyle is about to come to an end. I encourage you to look at your job differently now. Your job is just a venue where you earn your initial investment capital and you must dedicate a percentage of your salary to building up your investment. The faster you reach a position where you can begin your investment career, the faster you will achieve your financial independence. Ideally, you should look at your work this way. It can be a passion that pay you for what you love to do. Some passions pay more than but others. history indicates that job ready pay enough to create financial independence. Job is job. Building financial wealth is something else. This is realistic. I encourage you to look at your job and financial independence this way. Thank you for watching Jasmine Yap TV. Think and grow rich 5 minutes next week. I'll be talking about property investor network. Who should you surround yourself with? Bye!